Hello and welcome to Elimination. This is the second game of the latest Quiz Omnium, a pop culture Quiz Omnium with four great pop culture players. Let's meet the players. Hi, I'm Beth Webster. Hello, I'm Dave Bell. Hi, I'm Julia Hobbs. Hello, I'm Nick Paul. So the rules are very simple. We will start on the buzzer. Whoever buzzes in first and gives a correct answer will hear the next category. They'll nominate a player to answer it. And the player either gets it right and gets control of the game, or they get it wrong and lose one of their three lives. Lose all three lives and you are knocked out. Get a question right, you can try and nominate a person and knock them out. Three rounds. The first two rounds are just straight elimination. The third round has a slight tweak to the rules. We'll get to that later. Fingers on buzzers, let's get cracking. Which actor's appearance in the Friends reunion episode sparked a crop of memes depicting him as a stereotypical Irish uncle? Beth. Matt LeBlanc. Is correct. So, we are now off the buzzer. And Beth, you are in control of the match. And the first question is TV actresses. Who do you want to nominate? Ah, this lot, none of them. Um, <laughs> Gareth, I want to nominate you. Sorry, no, no, no. no. Uh, Nick, Nick, then. Nick. Also featuring in Murphy Brown, which actress's big break came when she landed a role of Daphne Moon in Frasier? Jane Leaves. Correct. The next category is Olympians. Uh. Julia, please. Olympians. In which event did Jessica Ennis Hill win both her Olympic medals? A Teflon. Food and drink. Dave. Which dessert is made primarily from whipped cream, meringues and strawberries? It's named after a famous school and might accidentally describe Boris Johnson. <laughs> I was going to say David Brewis. Uh, eat and mess. The next category is me. Uh, sorry, Nick. Yes, I knew that was coming. <laughs> Unlike her, I do have authority here. Who became a star of the internet for seizing power at a Hanforth Parish Council meeting on Zoom? The Clark. That's Jackie Weaver. So, uh, so Nick is the first person to lose a life. Dave, you were in control. Um, the next subject is motor racing. Beth, please. What is the name of the father and son duo who both won the Formula One World Championship but did so representing different countries? The father was representing Finland and the son represented Germany. Rosberg. Yes, Keke and Nico Rosberg. Music venue. Uh, Nick, please. Sorry. The grounds of which Hertfordshire stately home have hosted open-air music festivals since 1974. Notable headliners have included Led Zeppelin in 1979, Queen in 1986, and Robbie Williams in 2003. I can't think of it. <laughs> um, it's gone past. Okay, you lose your second life, Nick. Anybody? Nebworth. Nebworth House is... I was, I was at Robbie Williams, so that kind of helped. <laughs> well... So, Nick is now on tenterhooks. He is on one life. Everybody else has three lives. Beth, the next subject is children's animations. Who are you nominating? Julia. Julia. The first name of Jules Verne's character, Phileas Fogg, was changed to what in a 1980s cartoon version of the novel that featured anthropomorphic characters? Willie. Eurovision. Ooh, Dave, I think. Cascada had a UK number one single with their 2009 hit, Evacuate the Dance Floor. They would later represent which nation in the 2013 Eurovision Song Contest? Um, Sweden. Is incorrect. It's Germany. Dave, you lose a life. Julia, um, back with you. The uh, subject is perfume. Nick, please. Nick. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fine. All good. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> perfume. Charlie's Theron emerges from a golden pool in an advert for which perfume by Dior? Miss Dior. That is incorrect. Nick, you lose your last life. You're eliminated. The answer is... Jador. Jador. So, the winner of Sabotage is first eliminated in elimination. We will have a new five-point winner. <laughs> So we're round two, we're back on the buzzer, and the question is, 
Bob Block created which children's supernatural comedy show first aired in January 1970? Julia. Rent a Ghost. Rent a Ghost is correct. You retain your position at the head of the game and you will start round two by nominating somebody to answer on food and drink. Uh, Dave again, please. Cope Bridge is known as the what triangle after the alcoholic drink widely consumed there. Is that book fast? Correct. Crime drama. It's got to be Julia. The Skinner, the Ice Truck Killer, the Trinity Killer and the Doomsday Killer were all antagonists in which American television drama itself named after a serial killer known as the Bay Harbor Butcher? Dexter. Fashion. Jacked. Dave, please. Thank you. Up until his death in 2019, Karl Lagerfeld was a creative director for Chanel, his own eponymous label, and which other Italian luxury fashion house known for their fur and leather goods? Um... I'm just going to say Gucci. Fendi. Okay. Okay, uh, Julia, you are still in control, and the subject is music. Uh, (laughs) Flip a coin, shall I? (laughs) Beth, go on, have a go. <laughs> Beth. Visions of a Life was a 2017 album released by which alternative band? As well as a slew of other awards, it won the 2018 Mercury Music Prize. Bastille. Wolf Alice. And uh, Julia, back with you. The subject is the Olympics. Hmm. Beth again, please. The first event of the delayed 2020 Olympic Games was a match in which sport? Football. Incorrect. It was softball. You lose a life. So to recap, Dave has lost one life, Beth has lost two, and Julia is still yet to lose a life, and has the pick, Julia, of spirits. (laughs) Uh, Sorry, Beth. (laughs) It's fine. (laughs) Beth. Highland Park and Deerness are among the whiskey distilleries located on which Scottish island group? You picked the wrong person, Julia. Orkney. Musical theatre. The musicals Follies, Into the Woods and Merrily We Roll Along are among the works by which American composer lyricist? Uh, Stephen Sondheim. The next category is Soaps. Okay, um, just because of the life situation, Beth. Kylie Flinker, Sasha Close and Melissa Bell are the three actresses who played which member of the Robinson family in the soap opera Neighbours? Oh. Oh. That's really annoying. No. Bye-bye, everyone. The answer is Lucy, Lucy Robinson. Lucy Robinson. <laughs> I could only get Sally, and then that's home and away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and so with that, Beth loses her final life, and we're down to two. But Beth, at least you have one point towards a quiz omnium. So uh, congratulations on that. And welcome to the final round as Dave and Julia face off against one another. Now they have two cards they can play. They can opt to pass a question over to their opponent. Or they can skip a question and take the next question in line. They can play each of those cards only once. So with everybody understanding the rules, we now start the final round of elimination. And it's Dave versus Julia. Dave, you were in control, which means Julia, you will be faced with the first question. You have a skip and you have a passover available to you. And the first question for you, Julia, is which film director has been Oscar nominated three times once for the lobster and twice for the favourite. Oh, I can't remember it. Um, I'm going to pass that back to Dave. Dave. I don't know. Okay, so Dave loses a life. Good use of the pass over. It's Yorgos Lanthimos. And Dave, you will also have to face this next question as well. Mm-hmm. What five-letter word precedes Amazon.co.uk in the online store's URL if you want 0.5% of the price of the items purchased to go to charity? Can I skip that, please? You can. 
the uh, answer was smile. Mm -hmm. The next question, Dave. Dieter Hedman, Trina Gulliver, and Fallon Sherrick are all top-level players of which sport? Darts. Darts is correct. We pass over now to Julia. Graphic novels. The comedian, Silk Spectre, Night Owl, and Dr. Manhattan are all characters from which comic book? Okay. I'm so, going to skip that then, please. You're, you're going to skip that? Okay. Is it Watchmen? It is Watchmen, yeah. Uh -huh. um, but Julia, your question on talent shows. Whilst Will Young and Gareth Gates finished first and second in the first series of the TV show Pop Idol, which singer who had previously appeared on the show Pop Stars finished third? Darius Dinesh. Correct. So the questions now move back to Dave. And it's on a father and son. The wrestler Jungle Boy who currently competes for All Elite Wrestling, is the son of which actor? Passing away in 2019 at the age of 52, the actor was a cast member of Riverdale at the time of his death. I'm going to have to pass it over. I don't know. Julia. No, I don't know. Okay, Julia, you use your life. Both contestants have used both your cards. This is going to be a flat-out um, battle now. Uh, the answer is Luke Perry. Of course, oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Julia, it's back with you again. Which Chinese e-commerce site is the subject of a meme in which one picture purports to show what was ordered and another picture shows something comically inferior that arrived? Wish. Correct. Dave, pop music. Rush Hour and Heaven is a Place on Earth are songs recorded during the solo careers of musicians who'd previously been part of which all-female band? The Go-Go's. Correct. Um, Julia, long-running TV. Carol Klein, Adam Frost and Eric Anderson are among the people who've co-presented which long-running television show currently broadcast on Friday evenings on BBC Two? Gardener's World. Correct. Dave... Food and drink. What food stuff, sometimes included in a full English breakfast, is typically made using pork or beef blood, suet, and a cereal such as oatmeal? Black pudding. Correct. Julia, radio. Former BBC radio presenter Simon Mayo left Scala Radio in the spring of 2021 to present the drive time show of which radio station? Hot. No, it's Greatest, greatest hits, hits Radio. So you lose a life and you're faced with the next question, so you're in, in jeopardy here. <laughs> Relationships. Mia Farrow was married to which pianist and conductor, perhaps best known in the UK for his appearance on the Morecambe and Wise Christmas show in 1971? Andre Previn. Okay, I would have accepted... I did Andrew Preview. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that, but it's a bit risky. <laughs> Dave, uh, film. The Barden Bellas are the group at the centre of which series of musical comedy films starring Anna Kendrick? My favourite, Pitch Perfect. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Julia, back to you. Uh, Video games. Uh, Released in 1998, what first-person shooter game was developed by Valve and published by Sierra Studios? The term is also used in nuclear physics. Half-Life. Correct. Dave, rappers. Which rapper came out publicly as gay on the final day of Pride Month in 2019 on Twitter? Not satisfied, he tweeted again the following day with the words, Deadass thought I made it obvious. Um, is that Lil Nas X? It is. Back to Julia. So back to Julia. Julia, you've got uh, one life remaining. Dave, you have two. Julia, women's sport. Oh, God. <laughs> Which country's international netball team are known as the Sunshine Girls? Oh. Australia? That's incorrect. The Did that, is, yeah. It's Jamaica. Jamaica. Oh. So 
Unfortunately for you, Julia, that means you come second, but you still score three points for the quiz on you. Dave, you are the winner of elimination. You score well five done, points. Dave. And so Nick doesn't pick up any points for the quiz omnium. Beth picks up one, Julia picks up three, and Dave picks up the maximum five, meaning the scores in the quiz omnium now stand like this. Beth has two points, Julia has four points, Nick has five, and Dave is in the lead with eight. There are two more rounds to go. Anybody can be crowned the champion. Join us next time to find out who takes another massive step towards the quiz omnium title.